daffs by the lodge are now in full bloom. These are the very small ones. Soon the, uh, the bigger ones will come into effect. Bowling Green's had its first uh, grass cut. You can see the stripes on it. But, uh, so it's the first cut of the year. We're going to put in a lot of new trees all along the drive there. Got Keith there feeding the swans. The swans are quite happy. One swan there, another one over there. And they're not on the island breeding as yet. Friday the 13th and all these uh, trees have now been staked up properly. This is on the drive from Tipkinder to the uh, cafe. And nearly all the Forsyth here have now come out. Even over there there's some that's come out. Swans are spending a lot of time on the island, so whether they're looking to uh, make nests, which they don't usually get on the island very much. Is the squirrel out after his nuts? Quite a few branches here come off the uh, off the tree, result of the storms. Sixteenth of March, and the main drive. All the daffs are now out. The usual good display. Seem to have survived Mother's Day. Lions display down the main drive, and there's plenty of uh, white flowers. Some of the others are starting to flower up now. If you look at the grass, we've actually done the first few mows. That's such a word. They've been mowing. <laughs> to see the first signs of spring as this uh, weeping willow comes into flower well, leaf. Looks quite spectacular because of the colour. This is him putting down tarmac for the disabled fishing. So the disabled will be able to get to the uh, fishing okay. This is by the alley that goes to uh, the golf course. And this is one uh, tree that suffered with the storms we've had. Just to come down with a fair old bang. The tree itself seems fairly solid. But uh, Obviously the roots couldn't hold it. Dog problem again. Dog not on the lead, it's just been running everywhere. She's lost it twice. And it's been chasing all the wildlife. Walking off, no idea if the dog's behind her or what it's doing. She's up at the top field by the bandstand. Telling us this is going to be a wildlife garden, flower garden. Now finish the uh, fishing for the disabled. It's a nice ramp down to it, perfectly clear. 
the to fish up there if there's any fish. They should walk in some nice colours, sort of back of the cap, the Forsyth here and other bushes. This is still in bloom. And the hole near there, that's uh, got nice leaves on it showing up. Walk and they put some uh, flowers by the stream. There's a lot of rake soil as though somebody's come along and helped themselves. And there's a few more here. A few more. We'll see if they survive or on that. Not very clear what they are at the moment, but uh, interesting to see if they survive. The ribes are really in flower now, and some of the rubbery tendrums are just starting to come into flower. And these ribes here are really flowering really well. Twenty third of March, and this is the uh, rhododendron by Morton Road. This is one of the first ones, or well, nearly always the first one in the park to uh, come into flower. And there it is in flower. And the others should now follow pretty quickly. Twenty third of March, and the colour of in the park is starting to show. This one's always a nice one and lasts uh, quite a long time. The park's pretty deserted, but well, it's still open at the moment because they're checking that some parks are being closed. Tatton Park, for instance, has been closed. So we just hope it keeps open. Splash of colour from the weeds. I don't know if you can zoom in, but there's actually a butterfly on one of them. Grand colours. 26th of March, and as we can see, the park has now been closed. You two idiots. Whether this is actually a good idea. There's no sign of anybody inside of it, at least around here. The other entrance by uh, to the Georges, obviously, still the same notice. Park appears that nobody is actually in, which is surprising that some kids haven't got home. One of the concerns uh, people have as the park's closed that all the wildlife will normally receive a lot of food from visitors. And if there's no visitors, no food. And quite how they're going to cope, whether there's enough food without. Uh, that from visitors. It was a lovely day to be in the park. Originally the government said the parks were to remain open. Some have flouted in the rules, it's them that I'm dealing with, not uh, affecting everybody else. The things about the park being closed, is it going to drive everybody either to the golf course or to the George's playing fields? But at the moment, uh, they look pretty barren as well. <laughs>